I'm Dr. Adam Maulana, an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Today, I'd like to share a brief but important explanation about sticky and hard earwax. Many people think it's a minor issue, but in fact, it can affect hearing and overall ear health. In the following narration, I'll explain the main causes, positive and negative effects, and proper ways to manage it so you can care for your ears correctly. Let's understand together that earwax isn't just dirt. It's a natural protector that must be kept in balance. And specialist's explanation, causes of sticky and hard earwax, and its positive and negative effects. Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Molana, an ear, nose, and throat, ENT specialist. Today, I will provide a detailed explanation about a common yet often misunderstood condition, sticky and hard earwax. Although it may seem trivial, this condition can lead to temporary hearing loss, discomfort, and even ear infections if not properly managed. Earwax, medically known as cerumen, is a natural substance produced by the ceruminous glands in the outer ear canal. It is composed of oil, sebum, dead skin cells, and tiny dust particles from the environment. Its main function is to protect the ear from dust, bacteria, and small insects. However, each person's earwax differs in texture. Some have dry, soft, or oily wax, while others produce sticky and compact earwax. These differences are influenced by genetics, environment, and daily habits. There are several key reasons why earwax can become sticky and hard. First, genetics play a major role. Scientifically, there are two main types of cerumen, dry type and wet, sticky type. People with the wet type have more active ceruminous glands due to the ABCC11 gene. Therefore, if your earwax has always been sticky since childhood, it's likely genetic, not a sign of disease. Second, overproduction of cerumen can also cause buildup. When excess earwax mixes with dust and dead skin, it hardens and forms a solid mass that blocks the ear canal. Third, improper cleaning habits, such as using cotton buds, actually make things worse. Cotton buds push the wax deeper, compressing it into a dense plug that becomes difficult to remove naturally. Fourth, environmental and lifestyle factors also contribute. Prolonged use of earphones, exposure to dust, and high humidity in the ear canal can make the wax thicker and stickier. Fifth, aging plays a role. As people grow older, the skin in the ear canal becomes drier while oil production continues, leading to uneven earwax texture, part dry, part sticky, which can easily harden. Although sticky earwax is often considered unpleasant, it actually has positive benefits. Its thick texture acts as a natural trap for dust and insects, preventing them from entering deeper into the ear. In addition, earwax helps maintain natural moisture in the ear canal, preventing dryness, itching, and cracking. It also contains natural antimicrobial substances that protect against bacteria and fungi, making earwax an essential part of the body's defense system. However, excessive sticky wax can lead to several negative effects. When earwax builds up and hardens, it can block the ear canal and reduce hearing by preventing sound waves from reaching the eardrum. Patients often describe this as feeling like their ears are clogged or hearing underwater. In addition, such blockages can cause a sensation of fullness, pain, and ringing in the ears. Some individuals may even experience balance problems. If trapped moisture persists, it creates a perfect environment for bacteria and fungi, leading to secondary infections like otitis externa, which can cause discharge and a foul odor. Partially dried sticky wax can also lead to itching and irritation along the ear canal walls. Unfortunately, many people try to relieve this by inserting objects into their ears, which can cause injury and increase the risk of infection. 
So how should this condition be properly managed? As an ENT specialist, I strongly advise against cleaning your ears with cotton buds, hairpins, or any sharp objects. These methods can damage the delicate skin inside the ear and push the wax even deeper. The safest and most effective approach is professional ear cleaning performed by an ENT doctor using specialized tools such as microsuction or gentle irrigation with sterile fluid. To prevent buildup, follow these simple steps. Avoid cleaning too frequently, just wipe the outer ear with a soft cloth. Keep your ears dry after bathing or swimming, clean your earphones regularly, and if you feel fullness, discomfort, or itching, visit a doctor immediately. In some cases, your doctor may prescribe eardrops to soften the wax, allowing it to come out naturally. In conclusion, sticky and hard earwax is not inherently harmful as long as it doesn't accumulate or cause symptoms. Ceramin is part of the body's natural protection system, helping to keep the ears clean and healthy. However, when it is overproduced, it can become a source of problems. It's important to understand that the ear has a self-cleaning mechanism, and excessive cleaning can disrupt this balance. If you experience hearing loss, a sense of blockage, or ear pain, consult an ENT specialist promptly. With proper care and healthy habits, you can maintain clean, healthy ears and optimal hearing throughout your life.